Now let's take a little trip down the memory lane. Picture this, it's the early 2000s, I'm in university juggling assignments, late night study sessions, partying, and of course, movie marathons. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna be diving into one of the most versatile and beloved pieces of software out there, VLC Media Player. So stick around till the end, as I'm gonna share five awesome tips and tricks to push this thing further than ever before. Now, hands down, VLC Media Player must be the unsung hero of my college years. Back then, VLC Player was the only player that could play just about anything. No more worrying about incompatible formats and missing codecs. Oh, the codecs. That was the real pain in the ass back then. In a way, what Winamp did for music players, VLC did for video. You've heard us talk about VLC before. It's our favorite Swiss Army knife of video players. This is one of those apps that even people who don't know what FOSS is has heard of it. VLC started as a humble project by a group of French students who wanted to stream videos across their university campus. Fast forward to now and VLC has become the go-to media player for just about everyone, from casual viewers to hardcore techies. But VLC is not just about hitting play and enjoying your favorite films or shows. It's packed with so many features and hidden gems that even seasoned users might not know about. And look, though I'm gonna share with you five tips once you finish watching this video, don't forget to pop over to our blog and see much more. VLC is packed full of interesting features and capabilities, and it would be a wasted opportunity not to learn about them. I'll put the link in the description below and I'll pin a comment for you as well. But for now, grab your popcorn, get comfy, and let's get started. Have you ever recorded a video only to find that it's sideways or upside down? VLC has got you covered. So let's do this. First, open VLC Media Player and load your video by going to File and then Open File. Once your video is playing, click on Tools in the menu bar and select Effects and Filters. You can also use the keyboard shortcut like Ctrl E to open the Adjustments and Effects window. In the Adjustments and Effects window, go to the Video Effects tab and then click on Geometry tab. Check the box next to Transform and then choose how much you want to rotate your video by 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, whatever works for you. You might want to try a couple of options to get this just right. Once you got it looking the way you want it, click close to apply the changes. Remember, these changes are temporary. So if you want to keep the new orientation, you'll need to save the video. And that's it. This one is a bit different from your typical video editing tool, but it gets the job done. First, open VLC Media Player, load your video by going to File and then Open File or simply drag and drop your video directly into VLC. Once your video is loaded and ready to play, you'll need to enable some extra controls. To do this, go to the View menu in the menu bar and select Advanced Controls. This will show you a new set of controls just below the playback controls, including a red record button, a snapshot button, and a few others. Now find the exact spot in the video where you want to start trimming. You can do this by playing the video and pausing it at the right moment or by using the slider to jump to the correct time. When you're ready to start trimming, just click the record button, the red dot button at the point where you want to begin. Then hit play and let the video play through to the point where you want to stop trimming. VLC will then record this segment. When you reach the point where you want to stop trimming, click the record button again to stop recording. VLC will automatically save the trimmed section of the video. By default, these recorded segments are saved in your videos folder. You can find it by navigating to this address. Now this method records the section of the video that you want to keep without altering the original file. It's a simple and effective way to extract parts of the video that you need. Playing videos frame by frame in VLC is actually super useful if you are a video editor or you just need to analyze individual frames more closely. Whether you're making precise adjustments or watching in slow motion, VLC Media Player will make this really easy for you. So first, open VLC Media Player and load the video that you want to play frame by frame. 
You can do this by going to File and then Open File or by simply dragging and dropping the video directly into the player. Once your video is loaded, then press the E key on your keyboard. Each press of the E key will move the video forward by one frame. If you keep pressing E continuously, the video will play in slow motion, frame by frame at a time. When you're ready to watch the video continuously again, just press the space bar to resume normal playback. Keep in mind that VLC doesn't support playing frame by frame in reverse, only forwards. If you prefer to use a different key instead of the E key to move frame by frame, you can easily change this hot key. And you can actually check out our instructions for that in our blog post. Link is in the description and in the comment section. Now, did you know VLC can stream videos from your computer to your Chromecast? It's a great way to enjoy your media on a bigger screen. First, make sure that your computer and Chromecast are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Also, this may sound obvious, but just make sure that your Chromecast is actually plugged in and turned on. Open VLC Media Player on your computer, go to Playback in the menu bar and then select Renderer. You should see a list of available casting devices. If your Chromecast is listed, click on it and select it. If it's not showing up, double check that it's actually turned on and connected to the same Wi-Fi network work as your computer. Once you selected your Chromecast, load the video or audio file that you want to cast by going to File, Open File or dragging and dropping the file into VLC. Your media should start playing on your TV through the Chromecast. If you are using VLC on your mobile device, you can also cast to your Chromecast, essentially turning your smartphone into a remote control. And this is how you do it. First, make sure both mobile device and your Chromecast are on the same Wi-Fi network and that the Chromecast is connected and turned on. Open the VLC mobile app on your smartphone, load the video or audio file that you want to cast, tap the cast icon in the upper right corner of the screen. VLC will find your Chromecast and start casting the selected media. You might see a performance warning message saying, casting this video requires conversions. This conversion can use all the available power and could quickly drain your battery. It's a good idea to pre-transcode your files for smoother streaming. Now, if you need help with this, check out our handbrake guide for tips on pre-transcoding media. Again, I'll post the link to the blog in the description. Then tap OK on the warning message. The video or audio file will begin playing on your TV with a sound coming from your TV speakers. You can control playback from your computer or your mobile device. Use the on-screen controls to pause, play, skip or adjust the volume. And that's it. Now you can easily cast your favorite videos and music from VLC to your Chromecast and enjoy them on a big screen. Many video editors and streamers love using VLC to transcode media because it's versatile and easy to use. With VLC, you can change the resolution, bitrate, codec, and format of your videos. For instance, here's how you convert videos to any format using VLC. First, open VLC Media Player. In the menu bar, go to Media and select Convert and save. In the open media window that appears, click on add to upload the video file that you want to convert. Once your file is added, click on the convert save button at the bottom. This will open the convert window. In a profile drop down menu, select the output format that you want. If you want to convert your videos to MP4, for instance, select the H.264 plus MP3 MP4 profile. Next, choose the destination folder where you want to save the converted file by clicking on Browse next to the destination file field. Once you've selected the location and named your file, click Start to begin the conversion process. VLC will then start converting your media to the selected format. You can monitor the progress in the VLC player interface. If you're looking for an alternative to VLC for converting media, I would recommend trying Handbrake. It's a free and open source media conversion software that supports a wide range of formats, including MP4, MKV, AVI, and WMV, as well as 
older formats like DVD and Blu-ray discs. Handbrake is user-friendly and offers more advanced settings for precise controls over your conversion. Actually, we're preparing a video on Handbrake, so don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for when the video comes out. And that's it! With VLC, converting your videos to different formats is straightforward and efficient. Give it a try and see how easy it is to manage your media files. Now, like I said, there are more awesome tips in our blog post, so check them out and don't miss out on anything. Don't forget to leave your feedback or comments below. Send us some love and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!